Hello and welcome. In this video I'll be showing you how to use three different things. I'll be showing you how to use autopilot, uh, skid drop or tactical drop and the JATO. Uh, I, know it's a th I know it's three random things but it's three loose ends that I need to tie up as well as shut down. Uh, I may include that at the end as well uh, but that's not too difficult. So. Um, what we're going to need is uh, C-130 obviously, so we've got this bad boy here, which is Fat Albert, uh, lovingly restored RAF C-130J, uh, was done at Marshall of Cambridge, Air Aerospace and Defence, of which I had the pleasure of um, working for for a little while. Um, they uh, took a scrapped C uh, RAF C-130 um, brought it up to United States Navy standards and then t uh, did the scheme in the paint shop. Flew over my house a couple of times uh, on air tests. Beautiful looking machine and um, very proud to say that it is originated from my hometown so um, yeah every time I see that fly I just think of the times it flew over the house. Great stuff. So anyway, uh, I'm going off on a tangent there. Um, we're going to want JATO, so this one's pretty self-explanatory. Right click, go to pods, uh, left click, JATO. Now the JATO um, attach themselves to the back of the undercarriage sponsons here where the wind deflectors would normally deploy. Um, in this version at the moment you can't see them in the configuration screen, but trust me they're there. Uh, you'll see them once you get out actually on the aircraft and for the tactical drops um, I'm just basically going to choose uh, for the tacticals I uh, use the skid uh, I'm just going to drop three Humvees so one two and three so we've got three Humvees ready to drop other than that nothing else um, so we shall um, head off to the apron and uh, give it a look-see. OK, so here it is, Fatty Albert out on the apron. Got it running hot, so we're ready to go. And as you can see, there are the JATO bottles for each side, uh, ready to go. So, um, just need to jump into the cockpit and just show you the controls quickly. Now, um, just controls, do a search. Now you need to put in rocket, not JATO for some reason. So rocket, trigger rocket assisted takeoff. Mine's button one on the X56 throttle. So um, once I'm barreling down the runway, just push it and off we go. Simple as that. Or you can press left alt and uh, Romeo. So uh, that's it for the JATO bottles. Uh, the other parts, cargo hold. Um, you're going to want to set um, jetson lock release for the aft, uh, middle and forward so that you can drop all the Humvees if you've got three on there or whatever you're using for your uh, tactical drop or you can simply just press uh, uh, assign a, a button for jetson all and they'll all come out one after the other um, and then obviously if you haven't already uh, set your yeah, ramp doors open and close now, my plan for this video is to just basically do a takeoff using JATO, um, fly around, do um, some autopilot drills just to show you how it works and its limitations, and then um, do the tactical drop using um, the obviously the release buttons for the uh, and the uh, cargo door and using the autopilot to keep us steady at a low altitude. So, um, we'll get moving. So, let's just get into beta mode quickly. Okay, I don't want to be fighting yet on taxi. And we'll taxi to the end of the runway. Lined up. Okay, 
right, so we'll get ourselves set up. Let's go to told, no craft weight, and we shall go to told again. And I want to take off on 50% flaps, and then we'll go to index and go to take off. external data so we now have our um, rotate chevron or carrot and our v1 carrot there and obviously it tells us the speeds there so my rotate speed should be 112 knots but um, I'm hoping to go be going a little bit quicker than that once I've um, fired the JTOs so let's zoom back out a little bit right okay so toe brakes on All, all the way up. Right, okay, so now we're now biting the air proper and release the brakes in three, two, one, and we're off. And then it's fight time to keep it straight. Want to aim for about 70 80 knots when it uh, uh, roll in a straight line without too much hassle, and then I'll fire the JTOs. So 80 knots. And Jato is firing now. Okay. And as you probably would have noticed just then, um, there is no um, flames from the Jato's. It's just uh, black smoke for the moment. Not that that's much of an issue. Uh, the JTO still works. Um, I'm at 1,500 feet in quite a quick succession there, um, and I'm still doing 130 odd knots. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll go out over the Black Sea and we'll do some um, autopilot drills now. Now, I'm not sure if you can see it very well. Um, here's your autopilot panel here. Auto throttle. Um, not sure on what caps is at the moment. Uh, your indicated airspeed, vertical speed, altitude uh, hold, your, your altitude set, heading, navigation. So if you're using waypoints, it'll fly the waypoints. And uh, also, if you have uh, a, a tunable uh, navigation radio, you can also. Uh, fly tack tack hands and um, VORs off that, and also if you um, have the uh, frequency for the ILS of a of a runway, um, you can tune that into your navigation ra uh, radio and use the approach, and it will fly in on its own. Um, unfortunately, that's not working. I'm not too sure about that. I've not managed to get that to work yet. That's not that doesn't do anything. Indicated airspeed doesn't do anything. These do. Um, in fact, if I just um, switch on the autopilot, which is this section here, all you need to do down here is left click to turn it on on the autopilot screen, and you'll have autopilot on. Uh, if we click that, it will now keep our altitude. You know, we don't have to worry about. Um, anything at all we can just uh, use our azimuth to get around left and right and, and it will stay at that altitude um, if you want to change altitude however that's a totally different story now uh, to do that you can also set your barometric altitude here um, I've never had to do it uh, but it's there if, you, if you're at an airfield and it's not zeroed out but this will be your altitude um, select. Now if we scroll with our mouse wheel, you'll see that um, your uh, the altitude that you want to climb to will appear up here. So what I'm going to do, I don't want to climb to 10,000, that's a bit too extreme. So if we climb to, I don't know, say 5,000, and um, obviously we're at 2,100 right now. Now to do that, 
usually um, in my flight sim days it would have been a, ma a matter of just clicking set and setting your vertical speed at what how, how many feet per minute you want to climb at um, but with this it's different so if we if we right click to turn that off and click set you'll see nothing happens it just stays level but if we right click take that off pull up slightly get ourselves some vertical uh, speed going click that on and click set it will stay at this uh, velocity until it reaches 5,000 feet and then it will uh, level out so if we just watch that for now by the way that's our radar altimeter there go it's um, taken a less steep climb until we get to 5,000 feet and now we're at 5,000 feet or there and thereabouts it's okay so that's how it works and then it will just switch over to how you hold unfortunately for some reason the vertical um, vertical speed doesn't seem to do anything and it doesn't want to descend or climb to uh, your uh, desired altitude. So what we'll do, because we need to descend, we'll, we'll sort our auto throttle out. Now over here, as you see, you, you can move this with right click and left click, um, but you want to keep it in IAS, which is indicated airspeed, and that is actually set at 162 um, knots. Now, uh, to descend, uh, I'm going to drop that to 120 knots. Go over here, click Auto Throttle, and you see that it's, for some reason, it's switched out to 248 again. Um, not sure why it's done that. So we'll scroll back down to 120. As you can tell by the sound, throttle has cut out. So. Uh, you can see the speed is decreasing and we've got our desired speed up there it's just disappeared now I want to get back down to 2000 feet so uh, we'll go to altitude set and we will scroll down until we hit 2000 of which we've got there I'm going to take right click take that off decrease our altitude hold that there, left click on vertical speed, left click on set now what will happen is it will uh, descend until it hits 2000 feet um, now I'm kinda hoping that uh, no that's okay that's our stall speed um, chevron there, or carrot or whatever people call it. Next we'll be going on to heading um, and this is where our desired heading would be uh, except that's not where we want to go to I can, uh, but I'll show you how we can change that in a minute. So we're going to descend down to 2000 feet I'll speed it up so it doesn't become tedious Okay, as you can see, it's um, again uh, taking a less steep approach and is uh, slowly making its way to 2,000 feet. And slowly is the key word there. Now, we have been heading out across the Black Sea for quite a while now, so we're going to want to head back. Um, that will switch over to our altitude hold in about five feet oh, there we go it's done it so we'll stay at 2200 now we're going to change our um, auto throttle change our speed to 160 and you can see the uh, 
crops are biting again and it's increasing and this is our our auto throttle um, indicator here so once that line gets to the carrot we'll be doing 160 now <coughs> heading to do the heading uh, we use this here heading bug mod so what happens is when we do this scrolling left and right the heading bug will move now obviously coverlet is behind us so I'm just going to go T53 uh, so we want to go 0 9 one zero five I don't know anyway so we'll set the heading there you can see if you click nav or approach nothing happens and Again, for some reason, if you click the button on, any work you've done previous will just be wiped out and it will go back to where it was. So your, be your best job with auto throttle and heading is to click them first and then manipulate. It is kind of um, jumpy. Once it gets into the bank, yeah, it's not so bad. So, we want 105 or there and thereabouts. There we go. As you can see, we're now banking. So to go over that again, you click heading, so that the green light comes on with left click on your mouse, and then you manipulate this using the scroller, which will move your heading bug, and wherever your heading bug is situated on the compass, the aircraft will turn to. It's as simple as that. If you've got your runway headings, and you can't be bothered to fly, you can just fly in that direction and um, it'll do it all for you uh, I mean once the full um, autopilot suite is up and running it will be really really good especially with the approach and nav so that it can follow um, waypoints and you basically be able to get out to altitude click that button and sit back and have coffee um, yeah so we'll head back to Kerbalay and we'll do this tactical drop. So what I'll do is I'll just do a jump cut because it's going to take a little while to get there. Right, so we have Kerbalay on the nose there. I've used my autopilot to get me here. Now uh, I'm not going to make the drop with the autopilot because that just makes things a little too complicated. Um, so we're going to need to switch it off. Now to turn off the autopilot use this switch here again just right click and it'll make this irritating noise it'll tell you that autopilot is disengaged there and it will also flash up here that autopilot is off now and we can switch that back on again with left click now we can use a shortcut on the keyboard left shift and alpha so if we do that now it's off again but if we press left shift and alpha again it disengages the horn so um, you may as well just use left shift alpha to uh, dis uh, come out of the autopilot and then to shut the horn off rather than looking down here to flicking the switch and then doing it so now the auto throttle I don't know why the auto throttle is still on so we'll turn that off um, now again I'm making the tactical drop so I'm going to want to slow down to around about 140 knots uh, get the back open and then, uh, well, drop drop the load. So, but I've never been able to actually get it to um, stay on the ground. Once it's dropped out the back, it just completely disappears. I was wondering whether I was too high or too fast for the drop, so I'm going to lower the speed down to maybe 140, 130 knots, uh, get down as low as I can without wheels down, and, and then... Uh, see what happens so we'll get we'll, we'll do that now um, come out of, uh, active pause so I'll throw back and just trim out okay uh, put the wheels 
down. Get the back open. And we're going to want to put the, the flaps down as far as it will possibly go. So try and keep it 130 knots. And we are going to try and actually we'll, we'll try and do it on the uh, on the runway. I was going to try and drop on the grass, but I changed my mind. Okay, so we're still at 400 feet. 117 knots. Check the back's okay, so we've jumped to station four. Back is open and ready. Okay, so let's make this drop. Stall speed is still quite a way away, so I'm good at the speed I'm at. Fingers crossed. Right, let's get down as low as we possibly can. 90 knots. Jump in the F2 view and have a look. Okay, so that's one. Again, maybe I'm just too high. No, disappeared again. Okay, I'll drop the last one. Close the ramp and gear up. Flaps up. Nothing. Nothing worked. Great. Okay, so that was a failure. As far as I'm concerned, it was a failure. But um, what I'll do now is I will just basically cut to me taxiing back to the ramp and I'll show you how to shut down the aircraft. Okay, so you join me uh, taxiing back to the parking ramp and just in front of me here. I won't be doing anything fancy like trying to turn in a small circle. Don't want to crash or destroy anything. So I'm going to slow it down as we're in low speed ground idle. Bring it in nice and slow. No prizes for first place. Okay. Let it roll and stop. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, set our parking brake. So so that's this little beauty here. And uh, so you push toe brakes in, click the parking brake, and hold, and then let go of your toe brakes, it will stay on. So we're in toe brake mode, that's 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 absolutely fine. Now we want to come out of ground low speed ground idle. And back into normal normal idle. Now we want, as we're going to be shutting our engines down, we are going to want to um, set it up so that it will run off the, uh, the APU. So go over here, right click so that it goes over to APU. Go over here, and we want to start our APU. So right click once, right click the second time, and hold it until the green light comes on. Just wait that, wait for that to build up to 100% RPM. there. Close that one up. Okay, so we're 100% on APU as well as because uh, obviously when the engines are uh, down at a low uh, RPM the generators uh, only partially work um, and a lot of the systems go offline until you throttle forward and then generators come online and everything runs back up again. Um, 
So in this case we have the APU um, to help us out here. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, go up here and we're going to right click stop engine 1. Now there's no um, wrong or right speed to do this as far as I'm aware. Um, so you can shut them all off in one go if you want. Uh, I'll shut off the, lo the last three all together. One, two and three. Go back outside view. go back into the cockpit and we can feather the props using these here so if we feather the props there's no chance of them um, spinning and causing any accidents in windy conditions so flick that flick that flick that flick like that so it's left click for those and if we go outside view you'll see that they've um, they've all feathered and they'll all be ready to uh, be strapped strap down anyway so that they don't spin. And then last but not least you're going to want to open your ramp, parachute doors and your crew hatch. And that's the shutdown. Last but not least we are now going to shut off our uh, auxiliary power unit. So we can now go to left click on that. We can stop that. And then also up here, we can left click again, go into off. As you can see, HUD's off. Right click to get rid of that. And we only got a few systems now left, engine and uh, obviously our artificial horizon, compass and speed and altitude. And then as we are now completely off the uh, APU now and that the temperature is cooling down, so we can now switch off our battery. Right. Left click on that and everything's off. Nice and cold, let's go to the Naffy and have a cuppa. There you go, so that's the shutdown. So, an odd one this video, um, a combination of JTO, Autopilot, Tactical Drop, and Shutdown. Anyway, um, I hope this has helped. Um, some of it will probably be wrong and uh, if you can correct anything that I've done please drop me a comment and always happy to uh, learn more um, as I like to get things right anyway um, yeah have some fun um, this may be my last video on the hook for a little while um, but uh, until then take care and uh, catch you in the next one